Larson, first attempt, up and in. It's a one possession game right now, 81 to 78. Larson takes two dribbles. 81-79, two point game. Can the Cougars come up with the defensive stop? Carlos in the front court. 150 left to play. Shot clock now at 10. Carlos explodes to the basket, shots up, and he makes the layup. Charleston was looking for the pick, it never came, and Carlos with the drive and the finish. 83-79, Scott over to Bowen for three, off the iron, no good. Rebound grabbed by Carlos. 120 left to play. Hofstra trying to pull off the upset and knock off the 18th ranked team in the country on their home floor. Charleston has got to come up with the stop here. 110 on the game clock. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Carlos comes left, middle of the floor. Carlos backing down Larson. Pat, ball stolen by Ryan Larson. Larson comes up with the steal, under one minute to play. Larson drops to the basket. Larson throws it out to Ante Berzovic for three. No good, badly missed. Ball's loose and picked up by Aaron Estrada. Bowling, Estrada, and they'll throw it in the front court to Dubar, who was Wide open, he'll dribble out, he'll try to use some time. There's a 20 second differential. And Pat Kelsey says just play straight up. They got too Don't far foul. on the clock at this point. They had to go ahead and play it. Shot clock at 10. Estrada comes left over to Carlos. He'll launch a three, no good. Rebound grabbed by Raekwon Horton, but it goes out of bounds off of Raekwon, and it will be Hofstra's basketball. They're gonna check the clock. They'll check the monitor to make sure, but yeah, I definitely think it went off of Raekwon. Or maybe it didn't. Couldn't really tell. As they'll take a look at the replay here. You saw Raekwon and Yadam go after it. Thomas, Carlos, Estrada, who has it in the corner. He was just fouled by Ryan Larson. So the good thing about this, Danny, is should Estrada make both of these free throws, and actually that's just the fifth team foul, so Charleston will have to foul one more time as Babacar 5 is going to check in and replace Ante Berzovic. It'll still be a two-possession game. It's Charleston trailing by four. Thomas looks. He'll get it in to Tyler Thomas, who's fouled immediately by... Ryan Larson, 21.5 seconds left, so that'll be the 16 foul, so free throws coming up after this. And now if you're Charleston, you want to identify the person you want on the line. You, know, you, you want certain guys to get the touches. At the rim, shot up by Thomas, and he's fouled by Ryan Larson, so Thomas will go to the free throw line. He'll shoot two. And he's played well all game. He's a guy that's been feeling it pretty good. He's a guy you typically don't want to put on the line. I don't know what his free throw percentages are for the season, but 71%. And, 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 and when you're feeling good, those things don't tend to matter. Ante will check in. Babacar will check out. So still a two-possession game, 84 to 79, 19.7 seconds left. Thomas has got 16 points on the night. Back at the free throw line, second attempt is good. 85-79, quickly ahead, Larson in the front court. He'll get the screen, Larson on the right wing, looking, using a lot of time, and they're gonna call it a, a foul. Yeah, the foul will go against Carlos. That's his third foul. It'll be the double bonus, so Rain Smith will go to the free throw line to shoot two. 13.6 seconds left. I can't imagine Coach Claxton would call for that in that scenario. I wouldn't think you'd want to put a 90% free throw shooter on the line if the clock stopped. I don't, 
I don't know what Carlos was thinking on that possession. So rain, free throw, good. 85 to 80, Charleston down by five. 13.6 seconds left. Rain, second attempt, good. So Babacar, Fi, and Raycon Horton will check in for Rain Smith. And who else? I didn't see, so Horton, Fi. Cougars pick up full court. They get it into Estrada, who's fouled immediately with 13 seconds left. That foul will go against Jalen Scott. So Berzovic and Rain Smith will check back in offense for defense. Estrada will have a one and one with 13 seconds left. We've seen stranger, stranger things in these situations. They just need, Charleston just needs a break here and there. So Estrada, 25 points tonight, six rebounds and six assists. Shooting the front end of the one and one. That one is no good. Break you needed. Rebound by Charleston. Bowen pushes into the front court. Bowen forces up a three. Foul, no call. Rebound grab by Hofstra and a foul by Ryan Larson. As Bowen tried to put the three-pointer up, the shot was blocked. Pat Kelsey said that was the foul. No call. And as a result, Estrada will go to the free throw line. As much as it, as it hurts me to say this, I think it was a clean block, though. I mean, Bowling spent back, and it looked like he got a hand directly on the shot. You see Speedy Claxton telling his team no fouls. And Ryan Larson, that foul was on Larson. And Larson just fouled out. That's his fifth. So Ryan Larson's let will come to an end. 15 points, five rebounds, and six assists. So Aaron Estrada at the free throw line. 5.3 seconds left, and Charleston down by four, 85-81. Estrada's first attempt, no good again. Rebound by Jalen Scott. Four seconds, three seconds. Rain, watch it. Three-pointer, it's no good. And the streak has come to an end. <laughs> 